Hey guys, today I have an empties video for you. So, I'm not entirely sure, I mean there's a lot of things to talk about, but not as much as usual for right now. Um, I'm moving actually in a week, so I wanted to film this now, and I obviously don't want to take garbage with me to a different state. Um, so, I want to film this video so that I can throw things away as I use them up. So, I have a few things from my beauty project pan and my project pan that I haven't updated yet, which I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I want to still put them in a video to show you before I throw them away. Um, I'll probably talk about these products in those videos too, but I won't have them physically to show them, so I'll probably have this video linked below in those videos to come check out this one. So if you're coming from my project pans, welcome. Let's talk about some beauty trash. Also, one more thing. I'm going to probably be inserting clips at the end of additional products that I've used up after I've filmed this video, but before I move. So, there's a few things that are really close to being finished that I'm probably just gonna like film a quick little clip of it and then put it in here. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. First, let's talk about this big little basket. So this is stuff from my last project pan update, my last beauty project pan update, and just other random empties, and then we'll talk about stuff that hasn't been in a video. All right, long enough intro, let's get into it. First, I have this shampoo from Pantene. This is the Repair and Protect 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I love Pantene products. Um, feels like there's some in here still, but it's been sitting in here for a long time. Anyway, um, yeah, I love Pantene products. My favorite, I think, is like the red label because it's the color safe one, but my hair reacts really well to all Pantene shampoo and conditioners. So, use this guy up. My mom also was using it too, so I didn't use this giant thing by myself, but she also has like really short hair. Anyway, yeah, I like this. I recommend. The next hair product I used up was this Macadamia Volumizing Conditioner, and I got this at TJ Maxx. The price wore off, um, but I did really like this. I like the deep hair, the deep repair mask comes in like the little tub. I like that a lot better. Um, this is just a daily conditioner. That one is like a mask. But I liked this. Um, I don't know if I'd buy this again unless it was like really cheap at TJ Maxx, but this was nice to use. Next we have face wipes. We have two of them in here. Usually there's a lot more. Um, this is the, they're both from AOA. And there's only 15 in each of these, so they went pretty fast. This is the AOA Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes in the scent Citrus. And then this is the one in Cucumber. Um, these aren't my favorite. I don't know why I keep buying these, honestly. Um, they don't really take off any makeup. And I use wipes mainly to remove my makeup, like leftover eye makeup in the morning. Or just to wash my face quickly before I put on any makeup. Um just to kind of remove like dirt and sweat and whatever. Um, I don't think I'd buy these again. I like the ones from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I have them right here. These are the ones I usually buy, the blue and the pink from the Dollar Tree. And you get 30 of these one in these ones for the same price as those ones that you get 15. And these ones are a lot better. They're a lot more wet. Those ones are more dry. So, and then also for makeup removing, this is from AOA too, and there's 40 of them. These are just cotton rounds. These were really good. Um, I feel like a dollar for 40 cotton rounds, though, is expensive. Not, like, super expensive, but compared to, like, the ones I get from the Dollar Tree, um, where you get, like, I think 80 of them for a dollar. 
but I really liked these ones. They're, <clears throat> they don't peel off at all. It's more of like a solid cotton. It's so hard to explain, but I really liked these. I wish you could buy these like in store because buying the face wipes online or cotton rods online is just a hassle. Two more things before Project Pan stuff. So I finished up a hand sanitizer. This is just the pocket bag from Bath and Body Works in Island Nectar. This is one of my favorite scents. I love this stuff. And you always need hand sanitizer, especially in my job, which that one I just had um, on my desk, but yeah. Um, next I have, this is more of a declutter, like a trash, because it's really old. This is my li e.l.f. lip exfoliator, and this is the old one, because now they're green. I have a green one, too, that probably is getting really old, too, but I, I never exfoliate my lips. I feel like every time I do, it makes them worse, so I'm just throwing this guy away. But a lot of people do recommend those for lip scrubs. I just don't really like any lip scrubs. Okay. The next few, well, a lot of things were from my last Project Pan update. I finished the Coats Face Natural Skin Tone Sheer Matte Finish Lately Tinted, whatever. I used this as a face primer. It was fine. I wouldn't buy it again. I don't even know where I got this from, so that was fine. I finished this Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. It is all the way gone. Um, this is really good when it's not dried out. As soon as it dries out, it's crap. And this was pretty dried out. But I have used one up that was new, and I really liked it then. Next, I used the Benefit Cabral. This was a deluxe size sample. And it, I completely scraped it out and then put it in another container. Um, and I finished that up. I did really like this. Um, it's just so much easier to use a brow pencil than a pomade. So, not really easier, but quicker. So, I tend to reach for pencils more. But, this was okay. I actually saw the full size of that at Burlington for, I think, $17, which is still pretty expensive, which is why I didn't buy it. But if you do really like that, um, check out Burlington. Next, I have four eyeshadows, which actually one, I think, I used as a highlighter. So this is the one I used as a highlighter. Um, completely gone. Check out my Project Pans if you want to see the color. But that one is done, and then I used up another one, and this was just like a matte brown um, transition color. And those two are from an Ulta holiday set from Forever Girl. I also used up this guy, and this was a Coastal Scents sample, sampler thing, um, and it was just a pure white shade. And then the last... I used up was an Urban Decay Single Eye Shadow in the shade Sin. And this guy is completely gone. That one was exciting. So, that is everything that is already been talked about in a project or not even in any projects. And then I have a few things. This is where I keep all my stuff from my Beauty Project pan. I have quite a few things in here. So I'm going to go through these and then I think I'm just going to talk about them in my next video. I don't, I'm not going to put video clips or anything. Um, you'll just have to watch this video to actually see them. Um, okay. I used up the Bath and Body Works spray in Charmed Life and I was starting way up here and I finished all that in a month. So I thought that was pretty good. And that scent was really old, um, so I think that's probably why it went fast, but I did like it. It was fine. I don't know if they even make that scent anymore. Next, I used my Kerastase hair oil. 
And let's see, there was a line here, and then there was a line here, and then I finished up the rest of this. I just actually had to make myself use it instead of letting it sit there. I used up a Wander Beauty eye mask. Um, these were fine. I don't notice anything with one-time use things. Like, I don't know. And I can never make myself do it multiple times in a row because I'm not a good masker. Anyway, next, this is all sticky because I took the stopper out. This is my Clarins Lip Oil. I loved this stuff. So good. Um, it's very sticky right now. Um, I think I'd repurchase this. It was really good. I got that from an influencer, and that went really quick. Um, so I'd have to see how much the full size actually is, because it did go so quick. Um, I'll probably try cheaper lip oils before that. Alright, I'm just pulling these out of the bag, so they're in no really order. I used up this. Actually, this wasn't even in my beauty project pan yet. I was going to put it in, but I already used it up. So this is the Visanti Brighten Up Enzyme... En Zematic Face Rejuvenator. This is a face scrub. Little baby guy. I have another one of these that I'm probably going to use up next. Um, but yeah, this was fine. Used it up. I think that was my second one that I've used up already. So I had like three of them. Next, another skin exfoliator. This is the Dr. Brandt Mycodermabrasion. This was good. There was only like two uses in this thing though. It was like not nearly full at all. So, I couldn't really tell how much I liked it. I used up the Lancome Bifacial Makeup Remover. I didn't like this. It left my skin oily. It removed my makeup fine, but I don't like feeling oily after makeup remover. I used up this, what is this, Revlon. I used this as a detangler spray. This was fine. I think there was literally only like two uses in here. Um, so it was fine. And I used up the Briogeo Rascaro Milk Leave-In Spray. I used this as a leave-in conditioner too. And this was really good. I wouldn't buy that though, it's expensive. Um, let's see, I have some perfume samples. This is the Journey by Harvey Prince. I, I think I liked this one. That one was okay. This one is... Joy, Joya, by Number One Perfume. This was a rollerball, and there was really only like two uses out of it, but I did really like it when I was using it. And then this is Girl on Mon, um, and this one was fine. Let's see. Oh, there's another perfume sample. This one was Dolce & Gabbana Pour Home. I hated this one. I used this as a room spray. Um, because I, I tried to use that on my body, but I absolutely hated it. Um, let's see. Next I have two candles. Uh, we used Peach Bellini. I love this scent. And I used Island Margarita. And this is a really old one. <laughs> it's very melted because this is when they did plastic candle containers, which was very stupid. This one I'll probably take the wax out, and then this glass one I'll probably keep the container. But yeah. That's everything from the Beauty Project pan, and I think there's only one... Let me see. This is where I keep my empties for my Project pan, and there's only one thing. I just used up the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is good when you... Where? This is good when it first opened, it got really dried up. I think I just really used the whole thing up. Um, because I had to really, like, scrape around the outsides. And I was, like, pumping it, which I know you're not supposed to do. Um, but yeah, this was fine. But it's done. Alright. That is everything I have to show you today. Um, this is probably where I will insert the video clips of what I use up, so enjoy. 
Hey guys, these are both still a little wet, but I have just finished the Pantene Sheer Volume 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like this. Um, you guys know I love Pantene in my hair. And then I also finished the Dial Coconut Oil Body Wash. This was fine. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase that or anything, but it was just a body wash and it had a nice light coconut scent. So... Yep, there we are. Two more things finished. Hey guys, so I finished the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Night Cleansing Pads. Um, I really like these. It was pretty old and like they were kind of dried out. So um, there wasn't a ton of products, but I remember really liking these in the past. And I also finished the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. This was in my, also in my beauty project pan, and you can see my progress marks, and it is all gone. Um, I do really enjoy this product. It's pretty expensive, so I'm not sure if I'd buy the full size or not, um, but I do really like it. I would definitely get more samples of this if I can. Hey guys, sorry for the bad lighting. It's really late, but um, I just finished my Elme makeup remover, and I want to just share this with you before I threw it away. Um, I like this. I'm not sure if I'd repurchase. Maybe if I found it in the dollar store again. But yeah, this was okay. Now it's done. And that is going to be everything I have for you today. I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.